What are you making? Gay Penguin Riot posters? We're having a protest in a couple of weeks. Son of a bitch! I keep putting my fingers in glitter! Why does this one say new gay penguins? Oh, damn it! This one's supposed to say nuke foreign policy. This one's the gay penguin one. Damn it! What do you want? I just came in to say hi. Funny way of saying it. Well, I wasn't trying to be mean. I was just saying. It says new gay penguin. Well, let me point something out to you. I know what you've been doing behind my back. It wasn't me. Oh, that wasn't you? That wasn't you at the library with Todd? My ex Todd? That wasn't you hanging all over? It must have been somebody else. Todd, Stacy, I was just helping him study. Oh, I'm sure you were. I'm sure you were just hitting it hard to see what happened. Look, I was just helping Todd study, and I quit because he's a sexist jerk. I would never have a thing for one of your exes. Especially not the Todd. I mean, you're like a sister to me, Stace. I love you. <laughs> and to think, all this time I thought you were angry because Jenny messed up your bulletin board. <laughs> what? Oh, you didn't know? Well, there are only two other people living in this house, since I will never do it. Jenny? Our? Jenny? So then the lady tells Peter, our manager, that she doesn't want her money back or anything like that. All she wants is for Regan to apologize to her. So Peter says, okay, Regan, you got to apologize. Regan looks the woman right in the face and says, I'm sorry you're stupid. Peter fired him on the spot. <laughs> That's the funniest <laughs> thing I have ever seen in my life. The look on that lady's face. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, seriously, check this out. All right, I've been keeping a notebook of all the times that Xander has had gay moments. All right, yeah, check that out. March 27th, Facebook status changed to in a relationship, but the boyfriend's name not listed. April 2nd, received text message from Chris about staying the night after the play. Dude, did you read his text messages? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, seriously, though, look. April 6th, the TiVo set to record the soap opera, All My Students, every day. You do good work, my friend. Thank you. It's got to be hell for him. What? Well, he works so hard to hide the fact that he's gay. That's got to make his life miserable. I never thought about it like that. We should help him. Help him how? Help him come out. Let him know that we're here for him and that we don't care if he's gay or not. And I'm sure he'll be much happier. Yeah, yeah. We ought to have like a like a sit-down conversation with him sometime about it. Yeah, how about now? Ooh, I can't now. I'm actually meeting Jen for coffee in like 20 minutes, so I'll catch you later. Yeah. You know, you spend way too much time with her. I know, I know. This is getting to be like the Neil Patrick Harris thing. I love MPH. You would. I do. Shut NPH! Jenny, I cannot believe that you... Why am I always talking to myself? What? Oh, uh, hey. My flight gets in around 6, so I'll have to go straight to the theater. Is this who I think it is? H hey, is this Jen? Look, Brad, Jenny's already got a boyfriend, okay? So you better stop whatever side relationship you think you've got going on there because she's wait, a taken wait. woman, got what? it? Who, who's Brad? Who is... <laughs>